All right, so yesterday I told you how my daughter lost her little precious toy. She's yes. a little baby that she named Fish Baby. And we went and stayed at a hotel on Saturday night. Yes. We packed up and we left. I thought I had everything until later that night. So we realized we, we do not have Fish baby. baby. Well, mm. I have an update for you. Take a look at this. How Aww. sweet is this? Fish Baby has been returned. And she even left a note that read, I had such a t fun time on vacation with you that I decided to stay a few extra nights. Wow. But then I realized something that I missed you. Oh I'm so glad gosh. to be home. So I just wanted to say thanks to the staff at the Craddock Terry Hotel for being so wonderful like, this and This is what I'm talking about yes. right here. When it they comes get to it. customer service. Yes, how like sweet right is that? There. They just went the extra mile yes. writing a sweet little note. Yep. Probably didn't take very long, no. but it meant so much to you all. It meant the world that they would spend the time right. to not only track the baby down, but then to write that note, yeah. send it off. We got it you know, just yesterday, yeah. so a couple days, and we will be returning. So thank you to the staff there. I know. Now I want to go just so I can support it's neat. them. It's neat. That is the nicest yeah. thing. It was an old shoe factory. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's really it's, cool. It's a really cool historic okay. hotel. So. Uh, switching gears a little bit, if you like scary movies, then you know by now that the remake of the movie It hits theaters tomorrow and it is already a record-breaking success. More people watched the trailer on YouTube in its 24 hours of release than any movie ever. This movie is, of course, based off of Stephen King's iconic horror novel and critics are raving so uh, of course we couldn't get by without showing you a little clip from the trailer sorry you don't even know they're getting closer no! till it's too late father thinks this town is cursed that all the bad things that happen in this town are because of one thing an evil thing oh. don't go down into the basement don't do it just call 911 yes then the movie's over just go <laughs> Just call 911. Oh my Get out of gosh. There. Uh, mm -mm. Are you going to see? No way. But I, I was reading online, people yeah. are raving about this movie. Okay, they They're said that it's critics really, really scary. Okay, see, when I hear that, I'm like, all right, that makes me actually want to see it. Yeah. yeah. You know? Do, okay. You enjoy scary movies. I do. Go to, go to see this one. Yes. I will. Okay, and I know you don't it. like scary movies, mm -hmm. but uh, you have a couple of kids. Are they into scary movies? Will they be seeing this one? No, oh gosh, no. No, no, no. But I okay. wonder, I want, you know, they're still too young. You know, they right. really haven't seen a scary movie, but I wonder if Lydia might be interested. Oh. Yes. She's, she's actually, okay. yeah, she's I mentioned like that. that she's, um, she might be interested. We'll see. Okay. Well, see. well uh, what if they wanted to dress up like Pennywise the Clown, because no. you know, that no. is no. exactly what a three-year-old boy in Mississippi did. And of course, obviously it's creeping out the internet. Here he is, three-year-old Louie, who went out with his 17-year-old no. brother, no. Egan, for this photo shoot. Come on. No, Egan no. spent about 30 minutes painting Louie's face to look like Pennywise in the new movie. And oh. he created a clown costume using different clothes and fabrics they found around the house. Look how cute he looks. No, 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 no. <laughs> so obviously they, they say the reaction has been about 90% positive. Obviously there are, you know, 10% of people who think maybe it's like inappropriate for a three-year-old or... Social services should be called. No. Uh, you know what? I'm like, I'm, I'm sitting here wondering if my five-year-old would dress up like that. And would you do it and go out to Halloween? I wonder if this, this is going to be the big Halloween costume. Especially this year. after how viral these photos are going for like little kids. Yeah. Um, maybe. Maybe this is. I will this not it. answer the door. <gasps> yeah, they're coming to your house. Don't come to my house. Uh uh. Mm -mm. All right, well, if that's not spooky enough, someone in Lidditz, Pennsylvania, is having a good time scaring residents there. Someone has been tying red balloons to sewer grates around the city. This yes. is so cruel. And as you can imagine, it's freaking people out. The police are frustrated and want the person to knock it off. 
Not only is it creeping out residents, but it's taking up police resources Ooh. when people call saying a clown might be lurking in the sewer grate. Oh my goodness. I um, When I first saw these photos, I thought that it was um, part of the marketing for the movie. It's genius if it, if it was. I don't think it but was. It's not. No, I think it's just somebody, you know, playing a prank and thinking it's funny. Oh. It's not funny. Okay, but don't don't call 911 if you see a right. balloon. Right, exactly. Save 911 for real reasons. Right. Don't call 911 if you're going into the basement. If I Just, hear but something if you hear creepy, something, if call I hear it. something creepy and I have this big you don't know the, go down the hairs there. on the back of my head are sticking yeah. up, I'm calling 911. <laughs> I'm getting out of the house. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. So, uh, don't put balloons up. Mm -mm. Don't don't dress, don't your, dress kid your kid as Pennywise. Pennywise. I mean, mm -mm. and but definitely go see the movie. And also, if you do go, let us know what you think about it. Yeah, I pro I might go to this one. All right. All right. Okay. Well, if you're looking for a way to give back and get some good food at the same time, here is an option for you today until 10 p.m. Chipotle is hosting a fundraiser across all Virginia Chipotle locations to support the local Alzheimer's Association. Uh, when customers dine in and mention the fundraiser at the register, Chipotle will donate 50% of the sales to help fight Alzheimer's disease. That so if wonderful. you're looking for a place to, to eat tonight um, and you want it to, to give away, uh, to give back to kind of a great organization, this is absolutely one way to do it. And I don't have dinner plans tonight, so that there might be where we end up. All right, well, yesterday we had AT&T on our show, and they were talking about a bunch of tech gadgets perfect for helping you step up your workout game, and they left these tone-active wireless stereo headphones for one of our viewers, and we asked you what your favorite song to run to was. Yeah. A lot of great answers from Luke Bryan to Rod Stewart, Despacito love that one. Uh, to David Bowie, but we have our winner. Congratulations to Melissa Reddix. She said her favorite was, quote, anything Beyonce. <laughs> I love that. More. Please stop by our station to pick up your prize. Yeah.